explain kinematic pair and its classification. Let's consider a pair of scissors. It has two blades with handles joined together by a screw in such a way that they can have some relative motion between them. Such a pair in which the elements have relative motion is known as kinematic pair. Thus we can define kinematic pair as a pair of links joined in such a way that they can have relative motion between them. There are three parameters for classifying kinematic pairs. Nature of contact between the links, nature of mechanical constraint between the links, and type of relative motion between the links. Now let's try to understand each of these classifications one by one. First, let us classify kinematic pairs on the basis of nature of contact between the links. On the basis Kinematic pairs can be classified into lower pairs and higher pairs. Lower pair is a kinematic pair where the two links have surface or area contact between them. For example, in a piston cylinder arrangement, piston is in surface contact with the inner wall of the cylinder. It is a lower pair. Door latch and shaft rotating in the bearing are some other common examples of lower pairs. Note that the contact surfaces of the two links are of similar materials. Higher pair is a kinematic pair where the two links have point or line contact between them. For example, a rail wagon wheel where the wheel and rail track have a line contact between them. Some other examples of higher pair are ball and roller bearing, etc. On the basis of the nature of mechanical constraint between the links, kinematic pairs can be classified into closed pair or self-closed pair and unclosed pair or force-closed pair. Closed or self-closed pair are those pairs where the elements are held together mechanically. In such pairs, one of the links is solid while the other one is hollow. The hollow link encloses the solid one. This type includes all the lower pairs and some higher pairs. Screw pair and closed cam follower are a few examples of closed or self-closed pair. Note that contact between the two links can be broken only by destruction of at least one of the members. Unclosed or force closed pair are those pairs where the elements are held together by force either by gravity or by some spring action. Cam follower arrangement in automobiles, spring refills in pens are few examples of unclosed or force closed pairs. On the basis of the relative motion between the links, kinematic pairs can be classified into sliding pair, turning pair, rolling pair, screw or helical pair, and spherical pair. Sliding pair is a kinematic pair where the two links have a sliding motion with respect to each other. They are also known as prismatic pair. Telescopic suspension in bikes, piston cylinder are some examples of sliding pair. Turning pair is a kinematic pair where the links have a turning or revolving motion with respect to each other. Shaft in a bearing, door hinges are some examples of turning pair. Rolling pair is a kinematic pair where the links have rolling motion with respect to each other. Rollers, ball bearings are some examples of rolling pair. Screw pair is a kinematic pair where the links have turning and sliding motion between them. Screw jack, screw nut, pipe wrench, are some examples of screw pair. Spherical pair is a kinematic pair where the links are in a ball and cup arrangement such that the ball element moves inside the fixed cup element. Ball and socket joint in bike rear view mirrors and joysticks are some examples of spherical pair. Related terms are